Hello, I'm Madison Graham, and I'm here with Janet Jesko, Jabba Kids. I, I got a lot of that. My former Union student. All right, so what was the first show you ever did? Ants and the Grasshopper, I believe, back in 2004. Is this your first time coming to the Lakeville Arts Festival? Actually, it's our third, and um, we love it. We wish it was the sun would shine, but it's a great opportunity for us to see all the kids in the community. We absolutely love it. We get to see you after how many years? Uh, four, I think, or something like that. You started with us in 2004. Four? Were you the first year? And you were four. Yep. Four years old. What brings you back every year? The community. I love the kids. I love this small town feeling. I love the, this, um, the whole fair festival and the food. It's, it's absolutely delicious. What brings you back here? Meeting people like you, well, seeing you again, yes. and just everything else. <laughs> yes. How many kids now are involved in Drop Kids? Um, over the years, we've had, I probably have about 2,500 in my database. But we have about 375 currently. And we've been doing it for nine years. Nine years? Mm -hmm. Nine years. Yes. And what are you doing since you've left Drama Kids? Where is Drama Kids taking you? But it's Drama Kids helped me get to where I am right now. I'm now involved in a pilot for a TV show. I've been in several movies. And I've also been in a music video. Well, it's good to know that you're still doing the acting and everything that you loved. Because I saw it in you when you were four. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. You're very welcome. Come back anytime. Okay. Right, right. And this is why we do it. They start when they're this size. How, how well are you guys doing today? Uh, we, we're doing pretty well, despite the fact that we, uh, the weather is uh, been holding out. We haven't got a lot of rain, so that's been good. Um, every year we do really well at the festival, so it's um, really great to come out here with all the boys and we sell yeah. the popcorn and all the varieties. We have chocolate chip toys, we have caramel corns. What's really nice is that 70% of everything goes right directly back to our pack, um, to the Animal Council. So, you know, people really like that. We have a lot of people here that support us because they know all their children have grown up, have been Cub Scouts, have been Boy Scouts, Eagle Scouts. So. It's really enjoyable. They enjoy giving back. We use all this money to help support all the different activities that we do, such as the scouts that going to the north, going to different campouts, going to baseball games, doing all the different activities, supporting our dens, supporting our pack. What is your best-selling item? What's our best-selling item? I would say the caramel corn is our best-selling item. Everybody seems to enjoy that. And then our our popcorn, the unbelievable popcorn. This is a microwave popcorn, so they really enjoy that. And then we have a lot of the cheese lovers um, and our chocolate lovers. So everybody likes something different. What's your personal favorite? Oh, my personal favorite is the caramel. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Adam. Hi, I'm Madison Graham, and I'm with uh, Julie Chase from Jewels by Jewels. So I'm guessing Jewels by Jewels has brought you to the festival this year. Yes, this is actually my fourth festival, um, and it's been successful every year. This is one of the, the areas, uh, one of the festivals in the area that is super, super um, profitable. Everyone keeps coming here, um, so they have accepted me year after year. What's your favorite part about the festival? Um, I actually love all the people. Um, I also think that the music is great. The entertainment is fabulous. Um, and they do a really good job of making sure that everyone gets everywhere. I think that's important to you know, bring people around the whole entire festival. How long have you been doing Jewels by Jewels? Uh, for six years now. Um, I started doing it um, just for fun. I, I love jewelry and sparkle and bling and all of that. It's super fun. And I said, hey, I can do that. So I started doing that and um, started selling some items at work. And then I have a website online, um, jewelsbyjewels.com. And I'm going to craft shows. And it's a little business on the side. 
What do you think is the most creative piece that you've worked on? Hmm, that's a good question. Um, I think the pieces that are the most creative are, they are made, they're called like Starburst Collection. I'll actually show you. Um, so there's Starburst Collection and there's a lot of intricate design. It's a lot of um, wire work with the crystals and individual wire pieces. So um, these are very time consuming, but I, I do love making them. So those are very fun. And which one do you think is your favorite? Hi everybody, welcome to Lake Nalanta Music Festival. That's a good one. Um, I actually think it's this one. This we named um, at one of the shows. People got to um, submit a name for it, and it's um, um, Seas of Azure. So, and this is super fun. It's actually kind of a limited edition, um, but I really, really love this. It's bold and sparkly and fun. Thank you so much for letting me interview you. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. And good luck. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Thank you. So all this stuff is homemade? It is. It's all homemade and it's all natural. How about how many products do you have here? Like different products. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Maybe 20. Okay, nice. Um, some of the smells are very different. How did you come with up with the idea of mixing some of the... Some of the blends are good for healing properties. We have one which is good to help with circulation. We have one which is good for relieving stress. Um, calming your nerves. Lavender is really good for calming. So that's kind of how we come up with the combination. What's your favorite thing about Lakeville? I love the library across the street. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Hello, I'm Addison Graham and I'm with... Pammy Tan. So what are you doing here at this festival? Oh, well, I'm hoping to sell my jersey and get the word out because everybody who stopped by said, I didn't know you did this. <laughs> So here I am. Uh, this is my first time here. It's very exciting, and I'm glad it's not raining. Um, had a lot of people come by to look. A few people have bought things, so it's been very nice. Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> What's your favorite part about the festival? My favorite part is that it's not raining. <laughs> <laughs> no, my favorite part is that um, I actually get to put out my creations, and people have come by and complimented me, and it's just nice to be here in this environment. You said that this was your first year doing Excel, but have you ever been here just as looking around? Oh yeah, yeah, because I work at the library, so I've been walking around, and I find it's, it's, very, it's very cool to see all the different artistic things that people are doing. How many years have you been doing this? Um, as in, this is, the, this is the first year I've been out here selling. Um, I've been making it probably about five years. Five years? Yeah, about five years. I just started selling it though. About a year. What's your favorite piece that you've made? My favorite piece, I think, is my. I like sea turtles. So this is my. Um, I should point it that way. Um, my um, my sea turtle um, necklace. So everything I make is with um, the gemstones, crystals, um, shells. Uh, some glass and a lot of uh, mother of pearl shells and freshwater pearls. So this I like this one. This is my because I, like I said I'm, I'm a big turtle fan. So and, you know some of these pieces have turtles on them, but this I like. Them. Out of all the items here, which one do you think took the longest to make? The longest to make. Um, Probably this one because I have a wire wrapped pendant on the bottom, so that probably took the longest. <laughs> but, um, How'd you get into it? It's just a creative outlet, really. Um, when my kids were little and I had no time to do anything, I just wanted to have like a half hour of me time at the end of the day, so that's how I started doing it. <laughs> and that's how I continue to do it. <laughs> thank you so much for your time. Oh, thank you, Addison. Thank you very much. And good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Addison Graham, and I'm with Angela Rajan. And what are you doing at the festival today? We have um, seasonal pumpkins that are handmade. We blow the glass in Fallbrook, Massachusetts. How long have you been doing this? I've been blowing glass for about five years. And is this your first year coming to the festival and selling them, or have you done it previous years? This is our second year at this festival, and we're very happy with the results. So, is there any one particular item that you have here that's your favorite? Well, this time of the year, our favorite thing is pumpkins. It's what we sell the most of in our shop, and each one is individual, and there are no two alike. How long does it take to make something like this? Well, 
well. It doesn't take very long to make it, it takes a long time to learn how to make it. <laughs> Which item do you think was the hardest to make that you have? Um, with glass blowing, uh, bowls are the hardest thing to make because it's very difficult to get the shape. I see you also have jewelry here. Do you make it? Yes, we do. We make all of our own jewelry. Um, we make it out of sticks of glass and then we fuse it flat and attach um, the bales so that you can put it on the necklace. This necklace is very interesting. Does it have a meaning or is it just... This um, symbol of the lion face is the symbol of Venice, which is the birthplace of glass wall. What's the name of the company? Studio A, located in Fall River. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. It's very nice meeting you. And good luck. The trunk and the only time that he is satisfied is when he's on a drone He fills his glasses up to the brim And he passes the cards around And the only pleasure he gets out of life Is rambling from town to town now mothers tell your children not to do what I have done oh don't spend your life in sin and misery in the house of the rising sun. Hi, I'm Addison Graham and I'm with... Art Norman. So, what are you doing at the Arts Festival? Well, I'm trying to sell my paintings. Is this your first year coming here and selling your paintings? Yes, this is my first year. Out of the photos you have here, which one's your favorite? That's a good question. I like them all. It'd be tough to decide. Which ones do you think took the longest to make? Sometimes, I think the longest painting I've had to work on took about two weeks to finish. And that's not like every day, you know, like a couple hours a day. Here. I see that most of your pictures are based on fall. Is that your theme or is it just a coincidence? I like like landscapes and stuff, and like trees. Uh, uh, Fair trees, so yeah, I probably like fall. I like sunset, sunrise, and so dark forest, right? and stuff. Did you go to school for painting? Did not. I was persistent. How long have you been an uh, artist? I've drawn all my life as like, like sketches and doodles and stuff. I've only recently started painting for like the last couple of years. Today. Have you made any sales today? I've made one or two of this. I've mostly wanted to show them to people, but they're also for sale, so I just want people to check them out. They're like, buy them, not, just still cool to just take a look. Thank you so much for letting me interview you. My pleasure. Hi, I'm Addison Graham, and I'm with Carol Tardif. So, what are you doing at the fair today? Um, I have my handmade copper and silver jewelry. Is this your first year displaying it? It's my third year here. Third year? Out of what you have here, what do you think was the hardest to make? Um, oh gosh, that's a good question. I would say either the Coca Pelly or the Owl down there. It's, it's copper etching, um, electrolytic etching. And this one. This piece took me about six or seven hours. There's so, there's so much work in it. The etching and the wire wrapping and hammering and forming. And the clasp is handmade. So it was a lot of time. So 
Have you made any sales today? Yes, I just made one sale. My first sale of the day. Nice. It looks like there's a Native American influence. Is it or is it? Did he just end up that way? Um, there is. I've always been drawn to Native American design. Um, I I like earthy designs, as you can kind of tell by my displays as well. With one of these necklaces, how long do you think it would take to make? That's kind of intense. Those are pollen, pollen clay beads, and they're all made individually, and then they're baked, and then you would take the time for the stringing as well. So it would be quite a few hours in that. What got you into making jewelry? Oh gosh, I would say maybe 12 or 15 years ago, a girlfriend of mine was doing polymer clay and I walked in her house and said, what's that you're doing? And that got me into jewelry in general. And about four years ago, um, I saw a show on TV where they were playing with some copper foil and that got me into the metals. Once I started playing with copper, I that was it. I just couldn't stop. It's pretty much all that I work in right now. It's a lot of fun. It's easy to candle. Very malleable. You can do a lot of different things with it. Well, thank you so much for your time and letting me interview you. Thank you. And good luck on selling. Thank you very much. Well, I'm, I'm Addy and I'm with Paul Lazarovich and I'm thrilled to be with Addy because I saw Addy this summer in a production of um, uh, West Side Story. West Side Story, yep. And she was great. So what are you doing today? Well, today I was filming my show, Cranberry Country Journal. You were a guest on a long, long time ago. You were little. Now you're an old lady. How old are you? I'm old now. Wow. Addie, I expect to see you as Miss Massachusetts. Is that, is that going to happen? Yeah. You're going to follow in the steps of Molly Whalen? Yeah. I hope so. And what are you doing now? Tell me about your show. Uh, well, I'm interviewing people even more and more now. Yep. And today I came here to interview some people that are so what are you doing here? Well, I'm finished filming my program. Now I'm going to walk around with my wife and my friend Liz. And I'm going to eat probably some more whoopie pies and things <laughs> I shouldn't be eating. So, And what are you going to have to eat here? I don't know. I already had some chili. That was really good. It was excellent, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. What's the one best thing about doing a TV program like this that you like? Well, I get to meet so many different people. Yep. And yep. what's your favorite part? My favorite part is eating all the food. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time. Thank nice you, Addie. Nice to see you again, nice too. Again. Hi, I'm Addie, and I'm with... Emery Oral. What are you doing here at the fair? Well, I'm here with the Lakeville Conservation Commission, and we're here celebrating our 50th anniversary of conservation in Lakeville. And we have this booth where we're raffling off an owl house. We're giving away wildflower seeds that were harvested locally. We also have maps to the Eswamsa Pond Complex so that people can hike around. There's um, 3,000 acres that's open for passive recreation. And we just want people to know about what we do. We're trying to save wetlands. We're trying to save all the species that live in wetlands. And uh, so we're preserving that, and that's what we've got going on here. We've got pictures of, of uh, various lovely things in town map so you can locate where you might be and, uh, and this map over here shows all the uh, areas of priority for uh, species of special concern or endangered species. Is this your first year with your group being here or have you been here previously? This is the first year that the Conservation Commission has had a booth here at the festival. What's your favorite part about the fair? Oh, just so much going on, all the people, and I'm running into so many people that I haven't seen for years and years. It's great. I'm an environmentalist myself. Oh, that's great. A couple months ago, I went out to the state house and fighted for the Plymouth Red Belly Cooter to be named our state turtle since it's endangered. Awesome. Does your group focus on endangered animals? Oh, absolutely. We, uh, we always do, uh, whenever anyone comes with an application, to build or remodel whatever they want to do. We look at the property, we refer to our maps, we refer to all of the information that we have at our disposal so we can tell if it might be habitat. Uh, box turtles are, are uh, pretty much in trouble around here, so we watch out for them. And of course, the, uh, the cooters and all the turtles. We love turtles. What do you like about Lake? Well, what I like about Lakeville is that it's not a city. <laughs> We've got all these great bodies of water and, and that gives people an opportunity to live 
with a little fresh air and freedom of space. And we have so much uh, land that's open for people to enjoy. Around Assawamsa Pond is about 3,000 acres of very natural property that is open for passive recreation. You can hike, bike, ride a horse. It's terrific. Well, thank you so much. And I'm happy to find out all this information. Thank you. Very nice to talk to you. I wrote these two. Ain't got the truth and make truth the heaven, which are short stories and short stories. Uh, wait, out of those two, which one's your favorite? I think the second one is my favorite only because I dedicated it to my father. He had all this cool sayings, and I wanted to put them in short stories because I wanted people to know that there was light at the end of the tunnel. And my poetry is so inspiring that I can inspire anyone. Did you make any sales today? I did. I had a little girl who was just my favorite fan. She came up to me and brought some people with her. So what are you doing today? Well, I own a company called Beach House Baking Company, and I have my PMS bars that I'm offering free samples of, and I have some baking mixes that I sell. And this is my second time doing this event, and last year was my very first event, so this marks my anniversary of being in business for a year. So, um, which of your, which one of the things that you have here is your favorite? Lately, the um, cranberry chocolate has been my favorite. And I also like the espresso because I like having it with my coffee. Hi. Um, about how long does it take to cook a small square? Well, I do them in um, sheet pans. So it takes about a couple hours to do more flavors because I, I make the dough, add it into the pan, and bake that partially. Which one is your uh, most popular? The chocolate caramel. Yeah, chocolate caramel. I like the chocolate caramel and the butterscotch. Those are really good. So, the kind of mixes that you have, what kinds do you have? Well, the mixes are recipes that I've used for uh, decades now. Some of them are more recent, but most of them are recipes that I've been making since I was a kid. Um, the most popular is probably What's your favorite part about the festival? Um, that it's busy. <laughs> and it's convenient because it's like two miles from my house. Have you made a lot of business today? Uh, I've done really well and I've made a lot of connections with people, which is great. Other events and people interested in, in buying bars so from my website. That's so very helpful. Thank you so much for letting me interview you. Good luck. Thank you. Is it hard to get published? I self-published because oh. I didn't want to wait. What's your favorite part about the festival? The music. <laughs> and the food. Food was good. And oh. the people. I enjoy meeting people. Like you're saying about food, there's just a pie, uh, a pie picking contest and a piece of everything. But it was all pretty good. Uh, <laughs> but it's all really good. But <laughs> moving on, is this your first year coming here? It's my first year, but it's not the group. This group is Office Without Borders, and it's four ladies that all have different genres. Murder Mystery, this is Joyce. Hi. Kat, Carrie, she does fantasy, and she has a comedy. This is at Murder Square, she does memoirs. Different kinds of things. So. 
Hi everybody, I'm Bob Marshall, the president of Lake Cam, your new cable access corporation here in town. And today we've been holding, uh, we are about to hold, uh, a drawing for a free Xbox. And Ruth Gross, one of our board of director members, is going to do the drawing. Ruth? She's picking, she's mixing them up. And she's got one, and she brings it out. The winner is... Ellen Adams. Uh, Ellen, Adams Ellen Adams will be called. Adams. Here you go. Send the no, she, out. No, that, that's okay. She doesn't need to be here. She may not be here, but we'll be contacting Ellen Adams. She's the winner of the Lake Cam Xbox. Thank you. Thanks for watching.